Hello again. You saved me from great agony. I am sorry, for I cannot offer proper thanks. If you wish, however, I can teach you magic and trade for demon souls. But my witchcraft is of a dark nature, and arouses suspicions. Why not try the magic of Great Sage Freak? Oh, that's not the only thing that's aroused around here. Are you certain you wish to learn witchcraft? It would honor me to assist one such as you, but... Are you sure? Very low self-esteem. Eh, she's been terribly tortured, so... Eh? Ah, here it is. Relief. Though Astraya is the most impure demon of all, her works are equal to those of divine beings. Who will recover another by touching them. Ah, soul thirst. Uh, slaying enemies yields more souls when in effect. This spell gives the user a thirst for souls, taking as many souls as possible from the target. Gasser's behavior mirrors that of the demons. Very hefty mana cost and requires three slots. You really have to dedicate into mana. But it does make it uh, grinding for souls easier. Though it only lasts for like half a minute, 50 sec 90, uh, half a minute, minute, maybe 50 seconds. Can't remember how long, but it is a limited duration. So I question how useful it will be, say, during the um, the sky ray fights. You know, could pop it at the end of a boss fight. Uh, a spell mimicking the raw power of the dragon god, Sultan of Chaos. Its devastating flame is impossible to control. Ignite. Uh, generates a very large flame from the use, uh, user's fingers. An extremely rudimentary type of fire magic. Once, I lusted after the power offered by demon souls. I ventured through the fissure into Boletaria, but became trapped in the Nexus. Then the King's Executioner, Meralda, chained me up inside that tower. My thirst for demon souls is no more. On the contrary, I find such power dangerous. Hmm, didn't aim wrong. Freak wields a different type of magic from my witchcraft. Freak's magic stems from an understanding of the essence of the demon soul. While my witchcraft merely channels its energy. If the demon is cursed, so shall be the witchcraft. Freak's power comes from human potential, while mine is a dark, dependent art. Mm. It sounds riskier. If the demon is cursed, Freak's power comes... I owe my life to you. If you are ever in need of witchcraft, speak to me. It is a dark art, but it is all that I can offer. Thank good I was... We are in. So yeah, I have to do, do four runs of the game because um, Astraea's soul turns into four different items. One is the sword, then her spell, Priesty Boy spell, and that freak spell. Um, and that, if I'm to get all the spells, I have to get that soul four times. And if there's anything else like that in the game then, uh, you know, I'll have to pay attention to that as well. I doubt there's anything that will push me to a fifth attempt, so that's something at the very least. Are you certain it would... Are you sure? Thank you. I hope that my witchcraft may be of some help. It will be, eventually, when I can, um, use it. Um, 
take some time before I can use Soul Thirst. Soul Thirst is very useful though. Less damage than the friggin' um, Mage Blade. I suppose, in some ways, I'm not surprised. It just feels such that I, I, I should just be using the Mage Blade as a, my general weapon now. I suppose Reach is a bit weaker. the invincibility frames on uh, the fog gates and this is like. I know DS2 had terrible ones. Whoa. whoa. Hey now. DS2 had t dodgy um, invincibility frames. Remember getting killed going into a place, the Coliseum. You know, the chariot boss. I remember getting killed there. The other games have been pretty kind. I know DS1, I kept kiting the dogs the whole way to the gates and uh, just using the gate and vulnerability to ignore them. Much easier to grind them once I have. Ah, oh, I just want to see the cutscene again. Oh, okay, okay, that's nice that you can still see them outside. Okay, I, I like that you can still see them outside, and I haven't seen that attack on another boss in the games. You know, they're lifting up the savvy tech. Did Ornstein do that? Or was it, um, throw on? Suicide in the Nexus. One more demon down! <laughs> oh, I like you. I'm glad I got to have the ring on. I thought I could have had Soul Thirst going, but. Fine, what? Back there. There again. How could a demon ever stand up to a bona fide knight? <laughs> now you go on ahead. I must be getting older. I need some rest. <laughs> yeah, he is just Onion Bro. He's just got that Onion Bro, but more, you know, Battle Maniac. I do like him. I do friggin' like him. Silver Demon Soul. I know you can get his sword. Sadly, you can't get his armor. Uh, they do have it in the remake as a thing you can get. Though I can't remember if it's pre or bonus or what. Do you intend to challenge the king? You may be a great demon hunter, but I fear you may not be ready. 
The king is defended by the black souls of mighty knights and a fire-breathing dragon. They defeated even myself. That's how I ended up in the dungeon. Beware the limits of your own power. Huh, he's of changed opinion. He before he was saying how great the king was. Uh, Starburst in there. Before he was saying how great the king was and rah rahing him off, but he's in here. Beware. Concerning a star this in there. King's Tower, once a symbol of Wolotari, is now ridden with dragon claw marks, with only the old king watching all of his uh, watching all from his broken throne. Yeah, the spoilers. You have to fight the blue dragon here. If I passed it. Oh, I never suicided. Yeah, these are the guys you farm if you want uh, healing items. You could also kill them for souls to some degree. 2.4k a kill. It's not bad. Very nice. Then there's a host of guys down there that can give you either white moon or full moon grass. And so you be the grind will basically be kill those three heart, kill those three heart. Could also work in the other dudes if you wanted. I've unlocked the grind now. The issues just to um, be able to fight them with the um, other gear. So God's wrath. Mm. Yes, I. But you must. Are you hit very well? Ooh, curse weapon. Uh, strengthens and curses right hand weapon. Symbolizes a huge sword wielded by Penetrator, which attempts to cut down, ma uh, which as it cut down many warriors who attempted to slay the demon. Hmm. Wonder what that entails. Let me look it up. Boost we uh, physical weapon damage by 50% and gradually lowers HP. I owe my love. If you, it is a dog. I'm surprised Pentrader died so easy. 
Having the NPC to distract is unbelievably useful. You have your witch up. White weapon. That symbolizes the penetrator's gigantic sword. So there's cursed one and light weapon. Light weapon. I I have seen people talk about that previously. It is easier in slots and mana. Huh. Um, gradually boosts damage by 50% and then gradually... Uh, sorry, boosts damage, weapon damage by 50% and gradually lowers HP. Drains HP at 1% and max HP per second. Boosts right hand physical... Uh, right hand weapons physical damage by 50% only used with enchantable weapons. To cast this spell with a talisman of beasts while not meeting its man minimum magical requirements, lose 1 HP per second instead of 1%, but the damage boost will remain at 50%. Talisman and Beasts. Wells uh, used to cast Miracles. Support. Uh, wait, no, sir. Talismans allow the user to cast Miracles. However, Talisman of Beasts allows the user to cast all spells, not just Miracles. Oh. You can get this two ways. Due to Mephistopheles' questline. And kill a particular target, or kill Screever the Wanderer, Black Phantom. One or the other. <laughs> uh, the Talisman of Beasts' ability to use both magic spells and miracles would have been presumably been special had there not been only two talismans in the entire game. <laughs> Just a ch jab. Apparently, uh, if you use, if you don't meet the staff requirements, fate and magic for for the talisman, you can it um, you can crack it. So, like the cursed weapon, uh, its its draining effect is reduced to one hit point per per second rather than one percent, um, and it also works with second chance and warding. But I suppose the do skill will be far too weak because of those stats. Cursed Dragon Build uh, build Guide. It's a Fact for Life thing. Cute anime girl on the cover. The flavor text for it is an old wooden amulet featuring a symbolic depiction of the old one. It can be used to cast both miracles and magic. What was considered a depiction of God was in fact an image of the old one, portrayed as a force of feral chaos. That's what Freak was referencing. The God of this setting is the old one. The people don't realize they're worship the worshipping the father of all demons. Umbasa. Oh I never looked up a white weapon. Trying to tell me about destiny, new the De demons souls. No information on that. It's very vague. Large amount of magical damage. Damage scales with magic stat. Damage added is unaffected by Chris Blade, Monk's head collar. Magic damage does not scale with magic power. Huh. Yeah, the Monk's head collar can no longer be obtained. Um, because, you know, servers are down. Apparently, there's privately hosted servers, but I know nothing about those. I'll read the flavor text for you. Head wrappings that were once the golden robe worn by the old master of Latria eventually took control of the then withered 
the Dan withered old man. It is whispered that the robes now seek uh, seeks to summon those who offer their aid, and carrying out its wishes grants them the use of these odd uh, head wrappings. Could the Golden Guard be seeking new vessels to subjugate? Its enigmatic power increases spell effects, but makes the wearer more vulnerable to spells. It's worth noting that Monk's head collar is very tall and blocking on the side, making you lose track of where you're targeting. It's less finished in open spaces, a hindrance to narrow pathways and halls. So, yeah, that's an impossible to get item now. So, a light weapon adds magic damage to your right hand weapon, but cursed weapon boosts its physical damage, but it adds a drain effect. Depending on how you do it, you can make it 1 hit point per second or 1% per second. I am full. I can. Thank good I was We are in hmm. I think this one could be enough for one level up. Yeah, only the one to life's ether. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. I shall I am here. Thou seeketh soul power, dost thou not? Then t I shall I am here. Thou see then t Soul of the mind. See the drop race just shot up there. Soul it's because of this sword. Withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. The reason why the other game in the reason I wasn't suffering for my gear stat in the other games is because um, in the other games I could freely wear Havel's ring the whole time or its equivalent, but in this game I have to wear a cling ring most of the time because otherwise I'm operating on 50% health. Um, in like Dark Souls One, I thought that was a person his legs dangling, uh, like a corpse. But in uh, Dark Souls One, I um, just wear Havel's ring the whole time because there's no health health penalties. Ah! Um, Dark Souls Two. There is health penalties, but there was no like ring to counter them. Same and Dark Souls Three, there is an item. Like, see, like, look how little of my health bar I could access without the cling ring. It's probably a little under 50%. So, here I have to use the cling ring. So, but yeah, basically the reason why I'm suffering for a clip load here is because in the other games I could happily wear the Havel's ring equivalent and then something else. So I could just, like, lock that slot down and I was fine. It was free reign. Um, but here... Cling ring is taking up this, uh, is locking a slot down, and then if I want to use like the. In the other games, I could have Havel's ring on the whole time, and then put in a, you know, so Soul Drain ring, or, you know, whatever I wanted. But here I have to have the Health ring on, and then maybe Havel's ring, so I don't have room for the Soul Drain ring. Or, you know, whatever. So it's. That's why. Basically, there's. Can I be honest? It feels like I'm not making a lick of sense. I'm sure I'm making perfect sense, but. Basically, in this game, I need. I. You. In this game, and Dark Souls 1 and maybe 2, you only have two ring slots. And in Dark Souls 1 and 2, you have one ring that locks down a slot. And that's Havel's ring or its equivalent. In. And then, so you get one slot free to play with. And you can stick in anything. There's no health reductions in Dark Souls 1, beyond being cursed, which you can cure. And in Dark Souls 2, the health reduction is cured with an item, not a ring. Here, it's cured by, it's lessened by a ring. So that ring locks down a slot. 
But then if you want to wear gear, you need Havel's Ring on as well. So you end up with two slots locked down. If you weaken yourself a bit, you might be able to get away with using the Soul Ring instead of Havel's Ring. But, um, the Great Strength Ring here. But then you're crippling, you're, you're weakening your load a bit. So it ends up feeling, uh, unlike the other games, that you're suffering from, you know, lack of uh, equip load much more. It's all because of the cling ring and needing that. I hope that made sense. In the other games, you didn't need a cling ring or its equivalent, but Havel's ring was there. So you, you, it would lock down a slot, giving you one to play with. But here, you need cling ring and probably Havel's ring. So that ends up locking down two slots. So you end up feeling kind of crippled. You, I, you, I can't put on the soul gain ring without either dropping your health by a fair chunk, or preventing yourself from wearing armor. So, you just end up feeling more crippled than the other games because of it. It's probably why they didn't go back to the old cling ring thing. They still kept, kept in, like, how to, you know, uh, they didn't do it in Dark Souls 1, but they did it in Dark Souls 2 and 3. Um, you know, they did keep in, like, health punishments, but they did them differently and cured them via items and the like, rather than requiring you to wear a ring. I think there might have been a ring in DS2 that lessened cursed, like, health loss from dying, but once you had enough effigies, it wasn't an issue, if memory serves. It's been far too long. It's been a... I've been at this for a year or two now. The whole FromSoft stuff. Oh, actually, maybe in year three. Huh. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's the thing with this. So. The other games will lock one down, and that just being the Havel's Ring. But this game kind of locks two down. Unless you're willing to take concessions on your gear, and in which case, you, you might be able to get away without Havel's Ring. So that's why, even though I'm so late in the game, I'm feeling like I'm suffering from equip load. Because of the, the ring really does help. And in the other games, you can freely wear it. I think DS3 lets you have four rings still, so... It's not as mean. I really wish I could use all the soul gain stuff here. The fact chicks get the silver bracers, which I can't benefit from, is kind of sucks, honestly. Huh. Dead dragon. That was just a complete blur to me, trying to look at it. Black Phantoms. One just aggroed. Sword. Hmm. Penetrating sword. Yeah, I think that's the. Oh, are these the uh, on demon version of some of those knights? Fuck you. Yeah, I think these are the undemified versions of them. Uh, 
Thank you for waiting. Oh, that is nasty. Like, uh, we, the first one we killed there was the Penetrator. And there's Terra Knight. Yeah, eat shit. There is a ammo called white uh, uh, white arrows, but uh, I don't have enough dex. The issue with white arrows is there's only like 30 in the game. Not sure how to engage this guy. Oh, there we go. Gonna go for a weaker one. Fucker. So, do we just have to fight him, or do we have to fight the tree again, or do we miss out on fighting him? Just have to fight him. Sword stabbed into it. Tons of weapons stabbed into it. I wish I could just use Storm Roller on it. It would make life easier. Wasn't there four of them? I'm not sure what to make of the whole, like, being invaded to, like, these black phantoms here. Are these just, like, echoes of what they used to be? Uh, why do you get invaded by people in low world tendency? Like, uh, what exactly is invading you?
seriously. Tower shield. Oh, okay, it's just another one of those. <sighs> oh, I'm not one to turn down an item. A long straight sword used by the penetrator, one of the heroes of Altaria. As the name states, its thrusts are especially powerful. Because of its regular size for a straight sword, its use requires great strength and technique. See deck scaling. A long bow made of gnarled wood. With two intertwining strings, it is a legendary weapon said to be impossible for a human to handle. It's an extremely long range. Thank good I was Wait, did I not pick I didn't actually pick up the souls. Should probably go and do that. We are in... D 